You could see behind me, this is the wreckage of the house in the southern border community that was struck with one of those rockets fired by militants in the Gaza Strip. I'm going to step out of the frame to have our cameraman show you. Israeli forces say that Hamas fired 44 rockets, a lot of them not even making it into Israeli territory. But this one happened to hit this house in the southern community. These are short-range missiles with not the best aim. So when they do cross their way into Israeli territory, it's really uncertain where they will hit. We spoke to the family who lives here. They were sleeping on the sofa here. When they heard the sirens, they immediately went to the shelter in their house along with their nine-month-old child. They tell me now that they're uncertain about what's next. Well, that they'll have to fix the damage in this house, but they also won't be able to stay here because it's not sustainable to live here with an infant while this type of damage and conflict is going on. You can see all of these remnants on the floor from the ceiling. They told me the, ce the roof of the building is also quite damaged at this time. Residents in these border towns usually have bomb shelters in their own homes like this one. It's directly to my right. But the Israeli army today giving a warning to residents in the Gaza Strip, telling them that they should not leave their homes before 8 a.m. and to stay in a safe area because they don't have the same luxury that these Israeli citizens do. At this time, it seems like a calm, but there are Israeli drones buzzing overhead, buzzing over the Gaza a strip. Sources are saying that both Israel and Lebanon do not want this war, but it's not really up to them. It's up to Hezbollah. It's up to the factions. It's up to the extensions of the factions that are in southern Lebanon in the Gaza Strip. So at this time, a little bit of a tense calm, but the conflict is still ongoing. And Hamda, from your position there, what sort of immediate security preparations have you seen made on the ground in Israel's south? In Israel South, the people here are used to these types of situations when there are flare-ups with factions in the Gaza Strip. The real security situation today to watch out for will actually be in Jerusalem when hundreds of thousands of Muslim worshippers will make their way to the Al-Aqsa Mosque for Friday prayers. Earlier this morning, already a slight security situation, some scuffles between Palestinians and Israeli police as Jewish worshippers made their way under the protection of Israeli forces to view the Temple Mount, known as the Al-Aqsa Mosque. So today, a heavy security presence in Jerusalem, and we're going to have to see what happens there, if any escalation at all, because the factions this entire time have been saying that this is a response to the abuse that has been going on at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. We've seen a few nights of violence there, Israeli forces beating Palestinian worshippers, but Israeli police were saying that they were trying to disperse rioters who were barricading them themselves inside of the mosque. So all eyes on the Al-Aqsa this afternoon to see how the security situation develops. Okay, thank you very much, Hamda.